Hello boys and girls, I'm teacher Regan. Once again, welcome to Easy Limu, where uh, learning is simplified. So in our today's session, we are going to discuss how to apply our knowledge in LCM and GCD to solve other problems in mathematics. And like I told you in our previous session, both the LCM and the GCD, they have a wide and avalanche of applicability. We can, in other words, we can apply them in so many ways to solve mathematical problems. So normally, I encourage my students to take note of the words in a word problem that will enable you know whether you are supposed to apply LCM or GCD. So we normally have the keywords. For example, allow me to start with GCD. So keywords. that will enable you know whether you are supposed to use GCD or LCM. So in this case, we are going to highlight the keywords that enables us to know that we are supposed to use GCD. So if you see a word like longest, greatest, what is the greatest number of times he or she will have to go you know, to work in order to make this amount of money. Highest. You can have largest. You can have tallest. So these are, and many more others. So long as that word implies something bigger, something larger, something, you know, but something longer, then it implies that you're supposed to get the greatest common divisor in that particular situation. We also apply, we can also apply, uh, you can say, down there you can say, the concept, the concept of GCD is also applied in factorization factorization of algebraic of algebraic expressions of algebraic expressions so you'll come to know that when you get to grade 8 so at this particular juncture we are only going to discuss the normal examples whereby we can apply the knowledge of GCD to solve for example for example, you can be asked two wires, two wires measuring 72 centimeters and 96 centimeters long. are to be cut equally, to be cut in equal lengths. Calculate, calculate the longest length, the longest length that can be cut that can be cut from both wires without a remainder calculate the longest length that can be cut from both wires without a remainder. So you have two wires, one is measuring 72 centimeters and the other one is measuring 96 centimeters. And you want to know the longest length that can be cut from both the wires without a remainder. So solution, solution here, our key word is longest. Look here, calculate the longest. So that is our key word, just like I highlighted here. So that is what shows us that we are supposed to use the GCD. So here, solve using, solve the equation 
using G C D. So we have so we have the G C D of seventy two and ninety six. So we'll start with two to here thirty six, here forty eight, two here eighteen, here twenty four. We still have two nine. 12, we have 3, 3, 4. So at this point, we do not have a common factor that can divide both 3 and 4. So that implies that we have to stop at that point. And therefore, the longest length that can be cut, the longest length that can be cut from the two wires is equal to 2 raised to power 3, that is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that will give us 8 times 3, which is 24 centimeters. That is 24 centimeters. So, so, as far as the application of GCD is concerned, just try and I look at the following keywords in the equation. The, long, the moment you see longest, greatest, highest, largest, tallest, fastest, then you should know that you're supposed to solve the GCD. So otherwise, uh, if you do not have any other question, let us go ahead and discuss the application of LCM. The application of LCM. Application of LCM. So, what are the keywords? Keywords that will enable you to know that you are supposed to use the concept of LCM. So, we have words like least, yes, next poll, shortest, correct, shortest. Yeah, we have smallest. We have lowest, we have thinnest, etc, etc. Anything that implies something smaller, then you are supposed to calculate or use the concept of LCM to solve that question. These are the keywords that you should be looking for in a question. When you are given a word statement and you are supposed to, you know, solve the equation either using GCD or LCM, then the following words will guide you to use the LCM. However, we have some instances in mathematics whereby the concept of LCM is supposed to be applied and yet there are no, the none, of, none of these words is given. So we have unique, unique situations where LCM is applied. Unique situation where LCM is applied. So, whenever you are talking about bulbs, flashing lights, in other words, bulb. You see anything bulbs flashing? We have bells ringing at interval at interval we have a fleet of cars passing so these are some of the unique scenarios whereby we use lcm even though we do not have some of the keywords to guide us so if you see that kindly know that you're supposed to apply lcm to solve that particular Question. For example, uh, for example, for example, 
can have example 4 containers 4 containers each with capacity of 4 containers each with a capacity of 10 liters 15 liters 10 liters 15 liters 20 liters and 25 liters what is the capacity of the smallest container what is the capacity of the smallest container that can be used to fill the four containers. So here the key word is smallest and we have it here. So solution, we solve for the LCM of the capacities of the containers given then from there we shall get or we shall have solved the smallest uh, the capacity of the smallest container that can be used to fill them so our lcm is equal we are solving the lcm of 10 the lcm of 15 the lcm of 20 and the lcm of 25 so here we start with the least prime number that can go into any, not necessarily all of them. So I can see 2 into 10, 5 into 15, it can't go completely, so we retain 15. Into 20, 10, into 25, it can't go completely, so we retain 25. I still have 2, cannot go into 5 completely, I will retain it. I will equally retain 15 into 10, 5 times, into 25, 5. So I have 3, 3 cannot go into 5 completely so I will retain it 5 that is 5 5 25 so next we have 5 1 1 1 5 then you have 5 1 1 1 1 therefore the capacity of the smallest container that can be used to fill these jerry cans capacity of the smallest container of the smallest container will be equal 2 by 2 that is 2 squared times 3 times 25 so that is 4 times 3 times 25 that will give us So we have 12 by 25, this is 25 by 12, let's do this together, 5 by 2 by 5, that is 10, write 0, carry 1, 2 by 2, 4 plus 1, 5, 1 by 5, that is 5, 1 by 2, that is 2, so we add 0, 10, 3, so 300 liters is the capacity of the smallest container that can be used to fill all the four jerry cans. Are we together? Yeah. So at this point, kind of allow me to give you a question that you will use that requires the application of LCM. Say a number X, a number X is such that, is such that when it is it is divided by a number x is such that when it is divided by say 12 6 and 24 
when it is divided by 12, 6, and 24, the remainder, the remainder is 4. Find the least, or rather the smallest possible value of x. So a number x is such that when it is divided by 12, 6, and 24, the remainder is 4. Find the smallest possible value of x. Kindly create time and do that question, plus, of course, many more other questions that will come across. Otherwise, that marks the end of our discussion today regarding the applications of LCM. Thank you for your concentration. See you next time.